When you think of fast food in general, the first country you have in mind is the US. But unique fast food actually exists in other countries as well. And the Soviet Union wasn't really an exception. And it pretty much existed even behind the Iron Curtain. So in this video, I'll tell you what Soviet fast food was like and Let's just begin. The first thing you need to know about the Soviet fast food is that there were no franchises because obviously these couldn't function in the Soviet society. So fast food in the Soviet Union existed primarily through small eateries and market stores. However, there were also some government initiatives to create fast food that will be able to compete with the Western. So first, let's talk about the small eateries and market stores. So these would sell different types of baked goods. So first, there are piragi, which are basically small pies, and these would look something like that. And well, these also would have a ton of different stuffings, fruits, minced meat, vegetables, mushrooms, and surprisingly beef liver. And yeah, I know it sounds kind of gross, and in reality, it kind of is. Well, anyway, another cornerstone of Soviet fast food was Cheburek. Cheburek essentially is a deep fried turnover with minced meat inside of it. This dish is really iconic. And well, apparently this dish is insanely old as well. Like the first mentions of it date back to Genghis Khan times. I also want to mention one more dish, which is not actually that famous, but it kind of illustrates a pretty important aspect of Soviet fast food. So the thing is called Echpochmak, and it's a dish of national Tatar cuisine. Essentially, it's kind of a triangular pie with minced meat inside of it. I suppose there are some onions and potatoes inside of it as well. The thing though, that after I learned about this dish, I kind of looked into history of other dishes and most of them actually come from these small minorities in the former USSR. Chebureks come from Crimean Tatars who lived in Uzbekistan. Khachapuri is a Georgian dish. Samosa comes from Central Asia. And well, I pretty much can continue this list on and on. Hell, even this hot dog without any spices, ketchup or mustard is in fact German. Yeah, well, there's Vatrushka actually. By the way, another interesting thing that I want to mention about these dishes is that these were pretty often sold by some random babushkas walking around the beach. It's also worth to mention that this food didn't cease to exist and you pretty much can find it in all the post-Soviet countries. So yeah, if you ever come to visit one of these countries, try these things. Visit Georgia, by the way, it's really cool and beautiful. So yeah, that's it for this part of the video. And now let's talk about this exciting story of Soviet fast food and Soviet government. So in the 1934, Soviets created a People's Committee of the Food Industry. This guy called Anastas Mikoyan was ahead of it. Shortly after the creation, this dude went to the USA for the business trip and, well, he enjoyed eating fast food. He wanted to try and do the same thing at home in the USSR. Our attention was drawn to the mass mechanical production of standard cutlets, which were sold hot together with a bun, the so-called hamburgers, right on the street in special kiosks. So after that, he tried to implement this whole experience in Soviet Russia. And well, they also gave a name to that original new dish. They called it a hot Moscow patty with a bun. So yeah, these hot Moscow patties with a bun apparently looked something like this. Nothing extra, no vegetables, just what the name suggests. And then you kind of know what happened. The Great Terror and some other wrongdoings of that famous Georgian man 
And after that, the Second World War started, so, so there were no more hot patties with a bun, luckily. And then, only much later, during Khrushchev era, the Soviet fast food will once again become an interest of the government. In the 1957, the first official Chiburechna was opened. And after that, some places like eateries and cafes were opened in many places of the country, uh, mostly in big cities though. For example, look at that Café Minutka that opened and existed in Moscow for some time. These would sell the exact same dishes I discussed before, but provided by the government and standardized. So, for example, Chevorechne would only sell like one or two types of Chevoreks everywhere around the country. You know, that Minutka cave is kind of giving me the creeps because it looks like McDonald's from alternative reality. And well, speaking of McDonald's, we're coming to the final part of the video when McDonald's and American fast food finally reached the USSR. The first outlet of McDonald's in the USSR was opened in 1990. Surprisingly, it was the largest in the world at the time. And well, it was a big thing in Russia. But in general, that's a complete different story, and let me know if you want to see a video about it. And well, since the USSR finally opened its borders for the American culture, the Western light fast food began its spread in Russia and all other post-Soviet countries as well. So right now, in most of these, it's pretty much a mixture of these and this. So yeah, that's all I wanted to say in this video, and if you would like to support this kind of content, please be sure to subscribe and leave a like or a comment, whatever you want.